British scientists on Thursday unveiled a toilet, which apparently unlocks energy stored within urine to generate electricity, which they hope could be used to light remote places such as refugee camps. Students and staff at the University of the West of England in Bristol are being encouraged to use the prototype urinal, which has been developed with the aid agency Oxfam, and it's currently located on the campus. So, Jose, this is... Um, Pretty exciting for a lot of reasons. Obviously, mm -hmm. um, it's as green as it gets, or yellow. or yellow. Good one. <laughs> or, and it's very sustainable. Yes. I, I mean, I we're talking about unlimited think, energy here. I think it's great. I think it's, it shows that intersection of, you know, energy technology development and social social conscious. Uh, I think it's great that they're trying to solve two problems that happen in refugee camps often: the lack of services of, of toilets and the lack of electricity. Yeah. Now they're fixing it in one single project, and I think, it, I think it's great. I think it's very uh, important that they are doing it with Oxfam because they, they are in the front line of, of this. Yeah, so the Urinetricity project is funded by Bill and Melinda, by the Melinda, Bill and Melinda, Melinda Gates, Gates Foundation. Foundation. Uh -huh. And um, each unit um, will cost approximately $900, a little more, a little less, and basically, that nine hundred dollars will go to using uh, urine to make virtually unlimited power yeah. to light things like refugee camps, where the lights being off makes a lot of people vulnerable at night, and it, and it, and it can actually be used all over the world, not just refugee. Camps. No, I think it's a great you know like we we cover the story about the Everest yeah. having this problem of being covered with human waste. This is a great application where we could be solving some environmental problems and, and things that we don't have a clear direction on how to solve this technology and this thing. I, and one of the things that I find cool is that the initial cost is the only cost, right? Because these yeah, this energy cells, they're unlimited. Exactly. They, as, as long as you put more bacteria in them, they keep working. Right, there's these bacteria inside of the urinal which break down the chemicals in the urine and then put that into this energy storing thing and it's taken out in the form of electricity. Great. It is so cool. Here's what uh, Ionis Ieropoulos, uh, mm -hmm. who's uh, a research team leader, had to say about it. She said, the, micro the microbial fuel cells work by employing live microbes which feed on urine for their own growth and maintenance. Cool. So they're working themselves and it, it's never ending and it can pose, you know, great opportunities for the future. And like you said, the Mount Everest thing, a lot of waste being there, let's put it to good use. It's right. gonna happen. Everyone pees, no matter where you're a refugee or you're Bill Gates, everyone's peeing. Yeah. So like this is a perfect example of how we can make things sustainable. And I, I can't think of anything more sustainable. No, it's great. And it's it's very positive to see Bill Gates and Melinda Gates putting their money. They have a long, long uh, career of supporting these projects that bring change into the world. They also created a, a pen that changes the chemical composition of water, not of water, but you know, it filters out, yeah. you know, and he did an, uh, a demo where he was drinking basically poo water. Yeah. And he was very confident that it worked and it did work. And so I think it's great. Uh, they had another project to try to eradicate Guinea worm disease in Africa by just giving these straws that have a cloth that filters out the bacteria that pro, yeah, that, that uh, gets people sick in, in that region of the world. So I think that it's great that we're seeing people with a lot of money making it their full-time job to create change in the world, and it's very positive. I think so, I think so. Uh, let us know what you guys think about this. Is this the future of producing sustainable energy? Let us know in the comments, and of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the Lip TV for more.